Hey, you know there's a thing in that saying. Like the one say, oh, you're going to find yourself. That's the first thing you have to do for no say, you already have yourself. It's about whether you're going to accept who you be or not. So check it now. There's a popular statement that says that when the student is ready, the master will appear. But it's true again to all and socialize. The master thinks that it's something external that will appear to them, to guide them. Bear in mind that, remember, now you have what you call Maggie and you have Gin and those things that relate to a being that can book people, can influence your life in a very positive way. No? And put it on certain parts. No? But the reality of that statement is that, say, when one becomes accepting of self, which is the I in man, that is the master. So, all that you know and need to know is inside of you. As Rastafari said, I and I is the first book, you know. So, enough people are reading the book, them external. And I look for the guidance external. When that what you require is inside of the eye self. But you see, the people are so busy, they don't get a chance to listen to them own self. Have to think it out. But from ancient came to the right on the wall, man know like self. And we know say the microcosm. It's the same as the macrocosm. So the one know the self is the micro. You know the entire universe. That is the principle you call correspondence you know, with the two triangles where you use as a symbol for I slash here, the correspondence say, as above, so below, you know. So the above is the macro, the below is the individual. The one is internal, the other is external. But it, you pay more attention to yourself because that is the being you spend the most time with, you know. I might sound simplistic, but you spend the most time with that being. I spend the least time trying to overstand that being. You know? So, self-awareness, self-actualization come with actually start accepting who one, who one is. Every being you need for you. And every being have the same kind of potentiality. It's like the Raja Yogi. Raja. Ra, which is from Ra in Kemet. But it's an Indian Yogi. It's a Yogi of mentalism. The Raja Yogi argues say you have five states of consciousness that the earth go through. I argue say people are always through those states of consciousness at each point in time. Note, you have what you call the golden age. In the golden age, it's like some of the Rasta man, a bingy man, saying bun every something. Because, you know what I'm saying, you don't have a lot down to know nothing. You don't talk about no God, you don't talk about this. Everything is just a big collective. And it's a kind of self-awareness where everybody realizes the connection with self. They move to the next stage, they call the golden stage, similar to the, the silver age, similar to the golden stage. See, we let's kind of collective self-awareness. But after a while, as things change now, they move into what is called a brand age, where man start to use symbols and certain things to represent that same cosmic consciousness. They're going to do a chemist now when I know I talk about Ra, because Ra is the center of the solar system. And everything depends upon Ra. So they use the sun to represent an element of the triune in Amun Ra Pata. That which sustains, which is the father element. That's my answer. One of the big things I would do is a sun salutation in a yoga. So you give me a mind a sun salutation. And to a white guy, don't know what that is now. Him come and say, I worship you, I worship the sun. Not realizing what you say is that the eye is connected to everything. And you realize the role that Ra plays. Just as how I realize what the, the role that ice is placed is the moon principle. Sun governs gold and the moon governs govern silver. And you turn that kind of thing. Just like we have melatonin and serotonin enough for you. Stimulated by sunlight and moonlight, same way, you know. So the ones that meet over them thing there from a long time. And so we try to resonate at the vibration of the golden. Like I'm about to show them the golden child. They're about to show the golden child. That's the show about Rastafari in the fire. I may talk, I may talk about Rastafari as OP, but I may talk as that. Leave it in here. When the root is the golden child, himself actualized. So he can touch the bird. And the bird rise. Like I was a story about ice. That's him says. I slash I sunk on the golden stool or the rainbow circle throne. Because the rainbow circle throne represents a state of self-actualization because each color on the rainbow resonates to a color of the chakra. So it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, indigo. And when they own all of them, it forms a circle around the eye and becomes what? Pure light. So they put the sun this round the people they made say they in a state of enlightenment and things still. And them say the lion crowned the king with the triple crown. The triple crown Means it cover all dimensions, you know. Physical, mental, and spiritual. And I'm giving the scepter. In Kemet, he was the scepter, I'm saying he was the power and the globe, representing the earth. And I'm using seven ointments. For I each time chakra and give him seven jewels. 
representing each of the dimensions. Now, note that Ice Lassai was thrown as what? Negus Nagas. In India, the Nagas, you have put them in the the Nagas is the one who has reached that state of enlightenment. And when they reach, they have over them chakra. They say the Kundalini rise them over them chakra. They put on two wings. You know what call it? Butu. When I talk about a woman and Butu, because she don't look good, Butu is the name of a person who reaches the state of enlightenment. In India, I remember India is important because India is a daughter of Ethiopia. That's how I heard us right. They have Kemet as one and India as the next. So the information in India and Kemet are very similar and spread through the entire space. But just to make it over, we must about ice last year and the rainbow circle throne. So when you open all your chakras, you see just up on the rainbow circle throne, which fulfills the meaning which says, as above, so below. For you to be a physical king, you use the English word, you have to be a spiritual king. So when you put on the crown, a tilt at you you balance both dimensions now, you know. So you can be in a position to serve all because you become self. Actualize. That was what Nagas means. Nagas means enlightened beings. So Nagas, Nagos, Nagas means enlightened of the most enlightened. That's why I'm translated as king of kings or holy of holies. But what's on fire? Every being of that same potentiality. All their chakras, them. You have to say, when you come to all their glands, them. Check it. And you go through the same kind of awareness. That's why nowadays if I say a man can say, watch out, I can use Reiki. And clear your chakra, you know. We know his color. The rest of them we know that. Bobo Ashanti know that. So Bobo man them wear certain colors for certain day. If you don't explain that, I will explain them know it, you know. Twelve tribes of astrologers. This is the beauty of Rastafari for you. Rastafari have three set of ones who emerge. Four really. But three in go. The Bingi man. Who is the soldier. Tete Church is the same thing with them called the Jesuit, you know. The Bobo Ashanti, which is the high priest. And then you have the astrologer who is the 12 tribes cover the same tree, the same principle of the three kings. And the same is in the Jesuit church where I say Jesuit, Franciscan priest who do outreach, and Dominican priest who do the money part. But then the astrologer then. Then you the 12 tribes kind of have a kind of vibes like that in Rastafari. That's like the, the Dominicans. The Bobo Ashanti now who are the, the priests, the kind of heights, is like the Franciscans who are going to do. Because Mirror, my Mirror, Rastafari. Ethiopia, you know. Then you have the warrior them now. Well, some highly spiritual man, which is the bingy man them. But the boy I'm creating Jesuit organization. But all being having that tree pick at all time. So when you reach the height say yourself now, you know who manifest which one. And it's the ice last year in master. So I last year is step as a statesman, like an astrologer more time. They seem like some suits like I'm ancient, ancient warrior suit them. But it was also the end of the battle. No no fire. I don't know what God thinks because I know God past God. You know. It's man make God enough for you. But I tell you about how one can reach a state of awareness. And if you practice and live, you can reach a state of consciousness. And that is all the thing about it. You know, if you practice certain liberty, you can reach a state. But you have to know, say, if you accept self. And if you realize who you be, with all these, you're outside of finiteness. And you recognize that in other beings. You know what that means? Because if you put a limitation by any being around you, because there is no disconnection amongst anything, you put a limitation by yourself automatically. So the man who can say the heights to himself and say the heights in everyone, he always going to reach a higher heights. Because if I say he can learn from everything around the eye, every something around the eye is self awareness. And you become very comfortable. So a man who finds himself comfortable with himself, comfortable with people around him, for you, no matter what he might do, you know. Tolerance, because if you think about the principle of polarity, if you're the east and travel as far west as you want to travel, you come back to the east. So everything is the same energy. It's just how you manifest and change the form. So if a man comes to an IFE, he's saying, I'm going I ain't have to show him, you know. Because I know that same energy I'm using to do folly, he can convert it to some of the greatest things you ever see. But if I show him now, and don't remind him, because you know, if you're a teacher, you teach people, you know. Because people know everything already. If you remind him, and if they come in company and memory, he must start practicing it. And believe that for you because remember, you know, know it. If you shine a light in a vacuum, you can't see no light. If you shine a light and something is inside that, it will reflect on the thing. 
So if I tell you things that make sense, actually you know already. But sometimes actually you want to listen, I rather listen to yourself. So if you spend more time listening to yourself, we don't suffer from what you call Columbus syndrome where we discover things that already exist. Because everything already exists. But sometimes you just don't listen to yourself and sometimes you want an external validation. You know what I'm saying? But all that every being needs is in self. It's just as how them that write in the book, The Master Keys by Dilaren said, Doubt bar the way. It's doubt people have, you know. Make a man feel, say, I'm can't do this or I'm can't do that, you know. You know? So, self actualization is really captured in the two words we're using in ancient Kemet, which is to know thyself. And remember, every being is on the path. And in a state of becoming, you know. So you can measure your advancement against the next man because they are two unique, different beings. You, know, you can measure your advancement within your own self based on where you set yourself. You know? So there's no comparison. You can't compare unique things. You cannot. You see what I say? But every being will know where I'm comfortable in. So don't visit to yourself how we are now. You have to live that way there. And when you try to live that way, then you know what my eye go on. Like, nothing wrong with the eye. Because there are things that you will do that I will not do. You ask me, I say, I don't mean say, we are the bad. But it's just that you are different beings. But you have to have that state of, 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 of comfort. And once you do that, you have to find, say, you start to tolerate everything around the eye for you. Everything around the eye. You learn from everything around the eye. You see, dog jump under the water. You know, you have to look on your shoes and see if you go with all your shoes. But the matter tell you, say, when the man reaches a state, then renounce materialism. And so all of them know the function of the shoes. We don't get caught in the shoes itself. You know what I say? So you have detachment. So we we'll learn from these things on the fire, but man. Why? You see, a question we ask you now, why successful black people and don't give back? We have different realities still, you know. Buddha says black people. You have a state which you can show say, the people who tend to generate a lot of material wealth tend not to give back, like all them should give back. And when you see a white guy look like my give back, like Bill Gates, you know, there's no indication that we might give back, man, because the amount we might take, when we give back, it comes like nothing, and things still. So I find so some of the time, though, some of the people who do that is because they're still under the influence and of what, the illusion of what money is. I don't really say, money is functional. See, that's where you define money, by the functions you have now. A store of value, you need to have accounting, stand up a different payment, have a facilitate exchange, a medium of exchange. That's how we define money. Because we do economics, and I'm doing my master's in it. As a matter of fact, I specialize in monetary economics. It's in that I learned some money is an illusion, you know. So we call it fiat money. Fiat money is whereby the face value of the money is far, far above the intrinsic value of the money. Because having that kind of fear and security as money. See? Because it's too expensive to make. And say some characteristics, it can be divided easy, it's easy to transport them up that. There was this called full bodied money now. Where the face value is also equal to intrinsic value like gold and diamond. So you have to kill Gaddafi. Because Gaddafi, I'll tell you, he don't want no fiat money. He want full bodied money. And Europe and America don't have no money like that. Because this paper alone they have. Well, Africa have all of the gold. And if you answer the point, I make still, see? So now a man starts getting caught into that illusion. And now realize say, after you have a certain amount of money, you can't spend half it again anyway. So it almost becomes a cost. So check some guy who have money. In a real estate expense them live them life. It cheat it more expensive for them to live them life. To keep the money. They have to live them life, they don't keep so much of the money. They have to start by bodyguard. They have to start by this. They have to create a kind of security and then the money must secure enough for you. Is the money must secure enough? I never say I bring such a drive behind a hearse, you know. When a man did a bury down, so bring such a drive behind the hearse. So them get into that state and make a feel say. If you lose it, you're going to lose your life. Not knowing that money is designed that the more you spend it and the more you give out, it's the more money you make. So in economics, a saving is a contraction from the economy. You know. A expenditure is an expansion of the economy. You call it the aggregate demand curve. C, which is consumer expenditure. G, government expenditure. I, investment expenditure and export minus import. That's where the aggregate demand curve is. So if you increase Household expenditure and government expenditure and investment expenditure, the country starts to grow. So it ultimately, if you want to make more money, 
you need to spend more money. So it's a trick. Some people don't trust either. Whether it's black people or white people. Because I'm trying to do enough things with people. And it don't work out. But you are no fire. Don't make one or two man. Make you stop the good way for the man. Because those one or two man. When them take the money and gone and don't use it properly, it just finish. Them can't come back. But if you stop the way you have to help people, you have cause more people suffer. You're not going to feel good about it. But there's a thing where the man do for make the people them hide deliberately. Because remember, you see people generally good enough. Intrinsically, people good. Black people, white people, yellow people, every kind of people good enough. Because if you're not good, you're going to self destruct. Because you alone can't live. So, the brain, why are For me, good. I don't want to learn bad. You know what I say? So, if a man who is selfish feel bad about being selfish, and about feel him feel good enough. But that's true, you know, in his brain, for those who feel bad about being selfish. And if you get a chance, you can't really feel good that a man now comes and says, Oh, you're going to say, 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 Oh, you're going to all the man who is selfish, because I tell you something, you know. The baddest man of good name and the, and the most good man of bad name, you know. And this is the baddest man we are talking about. If you have a friend who is a female friend, you can never be close to your friend like how that bad man is to a female friend. I tell you, if I am. So sometimes we just give people a chance, Virgin. I don't impose, I mean, I accept, accept imposition. See? So when a man says, no, why? The man where black people have money and selfish. They have all kinds of reasons, but I still know, say, give that chance to be good. They will be good. Because that's their natural vibration. It's to be good. And if you want someone to be good, he must be good to himself. If that did already. So if he can be good to himself, he also know what it means to be good. And can translate it to others as well. What experience has he gone through to cause him not to want to share? And I don't understand that experience. You ask me, I say, but if the situation arises when you can not be selfish, you might be surprised as to that being. Yeah, man, you might be surprised. Sometimes people are in the, all right, let me get an experience here for you. But they are popping. I got a bank machine. Because I don't know germs for me, I don't know money in my bag, them, see? I'm saying I got a bank machine. I'm going to the bank machine and come out. The machine now work. Most of the idea in some youth saying my ass everything. Now that youth them claim says I'm mad youth, you know. Them say I'm mad youth. See? And I'm come to her and say, Ras, give me a hundred dollars now. And I say, fire. You know, seven dollars money, I'm broke. The man say, Ras, you're broke. Because I'm asking him before I give him, say, Ras, you're broke. I say, you know, money in machine. I say, watch out. I can't give you a twenty, you know. Yeah, I tell you, I fire. <laughs> the last thing I go, you laugh. The man who say, them says I'm mad, man, we're broke. Who ask if you have bills? When I tell man, I say, I broke, I say, Ras, I can give you 20 balls. I say, I'm a good man. I say, you sure? I say, yeah, man, I'm a good man. You see, I tell you for that. No, suppose that man was a man with money. In a film, broke state as a beggar. He willing to give her out of where he has. No, he say, I generally have more than him. No guy never teach in a university, man. A life teacher, every summer for you. That never comes to my brain in a bridging. That, where I learn, will never ever come out of my brain. Because I see the willingness to him have and that you convince I to take the $20 from him. Here I tell you, is that one time I say I'm a good man, at least two times I say, yeah, man, I'm a good man. I have to walk away. So don't underestimate the power of the good in the people. As a matter of fact, if you have more bad than good, earth mash up a long time. It's a minority of people that the earth selfish. And nobody can tell that. At least 1,000 people control all of the wealth in America, and I told you, and 50 million people that. So they don't go and accept people bad. Everyone goes, 1,000 people control money. A few people in the world bad, man. As I said, sometimes I'm in some key position now. I want to make a decision to impact a lot of people in a very negative way. But for you, black people, white people, yellow people, 
Them fear. You see, same fear we ask I about and doubt. Fear is them are going to lose them. Have. That's why all them manage a state of enlightenment. The first thing says renunciation. They renounce material things, but they understand the functionality of it. You know. But you know, say, you have left people more than you love things. Things important, you know. Money important and functional. But you have to still check for people more than you check for things. Because you need depression. You could have a, a whole barrel load of money. And you could only buy one cigarette because money will have no value. People always have value. That's why in economics, money is not an indication of wealth, you know. It's a flow. See? Stocks is what indicate wealth. Assets, that's what I talk about. So wealth is a stock, money is a flow. You may tell you, that's why I call it currency. Because it flow. It's the it's a accumulation. So check then. The man who do have no money but have land, is him of the wealth. The man who has money have cash flow. But we think that the man who have land and no wealth, no money, him not no wealth. So I'm going to work for the man for cash. We also sell the, the land, which can generate money, you know, for money, you know. I tell the money which probably can't generate no more money either. See the illusion fire. You see? So I said, oh, fire. When I see black people with things and they want help people, it's a part of them life experience. Because of that. And you'll be surprised to know, so you get to know them people, and probably some very kind people too as well. But you probably not find the people that we can't kind to yet. Because one thing is, man, the money, they realize the rest of them running with money, selfish, you know. And so they must not put that in care, we go amongst a poor man and all kinds of them go amongst a poor man and want and man want nothing from you. That is why many of them pick the run from them yard. Because they go enough money and go among some youth at some place. And they experience man, I run a boat. Every day I run a boat. And I start wondering how oh, comes thin people and behave them way. If not see my smile yet, I'll be a plastic smile. And the man won't have nothing. We ain't gonna be a genuine smile. So I'm gonna say my rasta you now. I am sad, can them Rasta you know? And the hunger is you see my Rasta to him see a freeness and a love amongst Rasta people. Who don't have no abundance of thing. I feel even more iron in himself being right there so than them placing the bag of money because the money can't buy. You see Steve Jobs tell the man them man. When they are dead, as a billionaire, as a young youth, a billionaire, are dead. And I say, if you drive a hundred thousand US dollar car and a thirty thousand dollar car, it's a car to the same destination. So don't get caught too much in the material thing. And it's done and they enough for you. Make the most expensive thing them, you know. I might tell you. But the illusion of the money. So if you have 20 more years, you know, probably if you approach the world, things will be so much different. Because I say, after a while, the money don't mean. It really don't mean all they think it means. But bear in mind, it is functional. You cannot strengthen people from a position of weakness. All we are say is that, say, recognize the functionality, deal with it based upon that, and don't become a slave to it. Because the man who is a slave to it has a work for it. It's the man who rises above it, can get enough, enough, enough. Fear and doubt. All right. You see, once you are struggling with fear and doubt, first thing, don't be too hard for yourself. Because the man designed a system to breed fear and doubt in people, you know. So, recognizing that you have doubt and you have fear is one of the first steps to getting past those things. Because you have to start realizing, but you don't need to be afraid. Ignorance means lack of knowledge cause people to have doubt. And when you have doubt, it makes you become fearful. So to a man don't know about what he calls God or about devil, a man can come tell him lie. Say, both God and devil are doing the same thing to you. Because remember, you know, devil do your bad things. I man came say, if you don't love God, God do your bad things. So I two star man do your bad things. So you see, I push on the people, you know, fear. It's not love them I promote, you know. So you're afraid of God, so you want to go join church. And you're afraid of the devil, so you can join the church. It's not love you love God, make you join church, you know. I love good, you know. You have not the fire. But now, if you know things now, I know, say, is life govern all of earth. And any consciousness that's out there must promote life. You're not afraid of nothing. But you don't know now, a man can't fully pay the world for foolishness. So, Knowing 
getting information removes doubt. And once you remove doubt, you remove fear. Because a man can't make you afraid of something where you know about. You know. A man can't make you afraid of something where you don't know about. I tell you, if a man comes here and says, What you know now? John Brown will come kill you, you know. And I say, What? Where do you think you're afraid? I say, John Brown will kill you. You know you're dead somehow. Why am I going to kill you? Because you don't know. Because if you know now, you can try to stop it. So if you don't know why you can't stop it now, you're afraid all the while. But once you start, you start making a plan. And once you start a plan, you start to have less fear. No. But how fuck you could say, if you stay like him, you know, I get to the boy then. You see? But the fear and the doubt make you start to see if you be like him. And it's probably fear and doubt him after. Why am I going to try to kill you? Because he's probably afraid of you. So the man him do anything if you make people war against each other. People who do have information can easily be swayed to do things when they don't really want to do. I want some things you now with a portion of people from America who fight in the Middle East. And I probably get all them awards. And I throw my throw about the award and say, let me trick them. Build up them head with all kinds of things about people who come do them things. And I'm going to kill a lot of people innocently. Now they are aware. They don't know. Fear of no government. Because they know. And I'm going to look out against the government. So it's knowledge, right? Remember, I you know. It's like people religious with the Bible. When a man write the Bible, first and foremost, a woman couldn't read the Bible. A few women alone could have read the Bible. See? So even though that book was supposed to be a good book, it was only a few people read it. So what is that people do? Because there's some people in ignorance, they have doubt. So if they can't read it for themselves, no, all right. Hey, you see the Bible is a powerful book enough for you. I mean, that a Bible man, you know. But I'm going to judge I'm going to school eh? Because they make you read some things. You know them called the synaptic gospels, Matthew, Mark and Luke. See? So you hear them now, when you go to school. In that book, them all the answers to explain what these things mean, you know. Matthew, Mark and Luke. They say the synaptic gospels, because the things are more same. When you read that book, you know, and that book there, them say, Jesus say, if thine eye be single, then thy body will be full of light. In Matthew 6. How do you mean by that? If thy eye be single, thy body will be full of light. Now you start reading more things, you find him talk about your third eye. Him tell a man, say, must go to the man because and tell him, his I am who have sent him. I am is a special word because arm. The Sanskrit word arm. Trust in the I am, you know. And the metaphysical Bible the word Jesus also translates into I am. And it's the I in man. You know what I say? It's the I consciousness. The Rastafari I talk about, you know. Which is that perfect state, that perfect consciousness, you know, for you. That's what I'm talking about, I and I. People in perfect state. It's the same principle in man says, tell me that this I am who has sent me, and the man who has sent you, I'm going to give it Which means, say, that there's some man that is space who have a way for reason. We have a certain wavelength. Who know, and we go to him, man, who say, it's I send the I, man, so I'm going to deal with the I properly. Them teach about levitation, when I say I walk by water. Them teach about alchemy, which is changing water into wine. Them teach about meditation, transportation, because I say, you have a when I'm transfigured with Peter, James, and John, and Elijah, and Moses, because I'm transformed into pure light. And them could have seen him. Say, them could have seen him, that means them third eye womb. Them also clairvoyant. And you know what I say? All these things, they must tell you. And when importantly, that same man now, who them say dead, and rise from dead. If you saw the, the Indian man, them, like, separate them flesh, them talk about only empowerments and yoga, them call it breathless, deathless. Where the man them can bury themselves for all months. Cover them. And after a couple of months, they wake up. You have to that man's higher consciousness speak to that as well, just still. So they must say, you should sure learn for them things there. When make him tread them through India and through Kemet and read. But remember, I say, that you two come out of the Essene, you know. It's in a very special set of people, the Hebrew people. And you link that back to Melchizedek. I remember saying Melchizedek is the one who them say, first, start to teach Abraham. Then I write another book, I never talk about it. I say, Abraham and Melchizedek are his way come from the slaughter of the kings. And after that, he become this enlightening being, you know, which is A, which is first, and Braham, which is the band. Braham is the Indian word that means divine consciousness. So Abraham become the first man with divine consciousness. And all the time, a nation of people who are divine people supposed to emerge. Just like when Jacob moved from Jacob to Israel, 
because him same rest with himself and penial, a penial gland. He will come in line and transform from Jacob to Israel, having what? Twelve children. So he will cover each of the zodiac element. I am 13 times with his daughter dying and can control the lunar element. So he can show you, say, the man that was Israel now was a terrible metaphysician who trim children could understand all of the things we are going around him. And I have 12 tribes in the fire. So 12 tribes say, yeah, Gideon. I don't tell you what the characteristic. You are Hebrew, you are Reuben, you are Benji. I'm not, because them, them, it is specific. And them give you colors. Is that what you So it's a thing where when people reach certain kind of consciousness, man, and them show you clearly with that book. And him say another book. You have the greater things that way him do. And let them say him rise from the dead. So if you can rise from the dead, means you can conquer birth and death. On Rastafari people they say, I know you can't dead, you have a problem. And the ultimate teaching in your religious book, from the man who you read the most, which is Jesus, Yahushua, say, you are going to conquer birth and death. I have doubt. You know what I say, I have doubt. So now, if the people are allowed to read these things to themselves and understand for themselves, you couldn't control them. Because my sister don't need no pastor. He don't need no pope. What he needs to do is to go in there himself. And all through that book fire, that youth tell himself, if you go in there himself, you're going to find who you want to find. Because he learned of these things when he makes him own children and things still. And in practice, remember, you know, them tell when I tell him, he reached a certain age, which was 13 or so. So he knows him depend on the cults now between him youthful stage and adult stage, and him third eye start to crystallize. Him going to the church and start running the man, him. guess why? Because the man who was supposed to do some ancient practice. They take up the Roman people and practice. And him as a youth who come out of the church and say, but they are not dealing with the man. When they trick the people him, and become rebellious. So he tells him, he go for an ancient liberty. And I tell you now, Virgin, note in the stories, you know, in the feeding of the thousands, he says, I feed him fish and bread. It's an illusion. Because fish was not fish as he meat now. It was in the Piscean age. So fish represents the knowledge or the food of that age. Then bread is a word that generally represents food. So I give them knowledge, which is a fish, and food for them belly. I'm real and miracle and multiply it. But yeah, no, it's that hard to understand because you know some more time when I want a reason there, yeah, I like the reason. You come back and you don't realize you're hungry either. Because it's like the reason flow up your head and flow up your belly as well. So the reason that multiply and all people are learning and people are feeling satisfied because they might get to find themselves for you. Now a pastor don't want to tell you that. And I know the Bible I find it for you. But I show you say now. I see what is in that book and what it can do. That's why it's dangerous because they might use the same book. They can guide people so much to themselves. They may become so dependent on something outside of themselves. When everything that book there is to tell you about how oh, you should know yourself. You take it out. Yeah, man. I mean, I've learned compass when I go to school and judge in the fire. I know it is the irony. There is a subject of rebellion against the most, you know. We can teach a bit trouble. And yet still, I have found that that subject of religion is one of the most relevant subjects I have ever done. Because they get good insight as to what them tell the people and what them don't tell the people. And you understand why people continue to be tricked by religion as against becoming enlightened through the same teachings. So the same thing we could make people become enlightened is them use to control them. You see? I? And yet still, note, there's no way in that story there without you try to build a religion. That you never talk to people nothing about religion. You see? And the most non-religious people use the same information to create a religion for people to control them. It's a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous thing for you, man. I tell you, man. You know? Remove doubt and fear and you're good for you. Remove doubt and fear. That man says, man, he says, if you have faith like a mustard seed, I can do anything. Check it. I remember now, you know, seeing Bridget Mouma moving, it's not like a soft, soft for you, there's mean, some serious youth, you know. Check, say, take simple man to fisherman, you can't hold on to water. You can't hold on to water. You have to have a certain power in your mind to be a fisherman. Them not no fear. Thank <laughs> you.